just um, entered the old Clark Air Base Hospital. So we're currently in the basement, which was also the morgue area. Oh my gosh, look at this tunnel. That is a big drop, that is all the way down. Basically bodies would have been burnt in here. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight I am taking you into the Clark Air Base Hospital, one of the most haunted places in the Philippines and the whole of Asia. If you haven't done so already, go check out my part one video where I explore some of the surrounding ruins and do a little bit of nighttime investigations. But get ready, because we're about to head inside one of the most haunted places in the Philippines. just entered the old Clark Air Base Hospital. This is an abandoned military hospital and it has so much history. It was used in both World War II and the Vietnam War. It's been occupied by Japanese uh, military as well as US. And a lot of patients were treated here and a lot of people died here, thousands of people. And that is why it's known as being one of the, you know, the most haunted places in the Philippines as well as Asia. The first thing I wanna do here is just we're gonna to go to night vision and we're gonna call out and see if there is any spirits around that may want to communicate. All right guys, I'm gonna call out in English and see if there's any spirits around that may want to communicate. The reason I'm choosing English was because there was a lot of US soldiers that were here and that were treated here and that may have died here too. Okay, we've got a bird. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits around that want to communicate? If there is, can you please come close and make your presence known? Can you make a sound for us? We mean you no harm. We would like to know if there is anybody here though. Are you stuck here? Why do you remain at the hospital? What was it that brought you here? So I just heard a distant bang and I can hear a lot of bats or birds in here as well. So I'm just wanted to throw that out there. Are you able to come and tell me your name? I can hear music, listen. Yeah, I can hear music, like really distant music. Can you tell me where you're from or anything personal about yourself? Can you tap or make a noise? 
Okay, so I might actually just take you on a walk over here because this area behind you looks weird in the dark. There's actually been a lot of apparition sightings here and a lot of people claiming to see apparitions poke out from behind these pillars in here and I can tell you in the dark it definitely plays mind games with you in here because it is so creepy and even myself as we were walking up to the hospital in the dead of night I thought I seen someone in a white shirt sort of walk through some of the pillars which was kind of creepy I don't think anyone was in here and it was likely just my eyes but it's still very odd and a very strange place in here all right guys now that we've done that little experiment I'm gonna take you on a little tour around the hospital so we're currently in the basement which was also the morgue area and we also have this is an incinerator. Basically bodies would have been burnt in here. A bit thermal yeah. layer. To water. This is the bathroom. This is the uh, kitchen. Oh, okay. There's a lot of water in here. So we're just walking through like the lowest part, the basement area. It's very spooky, and they say that there's a lot of like apparitions been seen down in this area. Watch out for holes. Yeah, watch your step, Jared. So on the floor there's piles and piles of it. This is all ash from the volcano eruption. It's pretty crazy how much there actually is. Like, if you look down there, you can see mounds of it. Watch your step. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Be careful. Thank you. Oh, okay. Wow, this is really underneath, isn't it? Yeah, we're right <coughs> at the bottom of the building now, I would say. Second basement. So was this area used for anything? This is know? for the metal pipe. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. From the for supply the apparatus. Supply the oh okay. Apparatus generator. Oh uh, yeah. This is the secret swimming pool. Secret swimming pool. Oh, <laughs> wow. Sometimes maybe people can swim there. Oh, wow, that's yeah. really deep. Oh, my gosh. So much water. volcano is still here as well that was in the early 1990s I think it just illustrates how much ash there really was that blanketed this whole place all right guys I've just pressed record in a ghost tube session we're in the 
very bottom basement of the old Clark Air Base Hospital. And we're just gonna walk through and see if there's any magnetic fluctuations. Maybe we'll get a word through. We have the ghost dictionary set to English because there was a lot of US soldiers that were um, treated at this facility and likely to die here. So we'll see if anything comes through as we walk around. On your head as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll be nasty. I guess I'm going to crawl back through this hole. What one is this? Oh wow. Oh my gosh, look up. I can see how tall it goes. Okay, I haven't seen any odd spikes and we haven't had any words for wow. This place. Is this another one? Oh, that one still has the actual elevator by the looks or something there. And it's full of water. Is it still low? It's still low, yeah, it's like consistent low. Maybe it's something in the walls or something? It could be, or the floor. It's odd, it doesn't normally do that. I wouldn't think it'd be sensitive enough to pick up something in the walls. Yeah, it's kind Go of Go back odd. to the same spot again, see if it does it again. It is lower here for sure. I reckon it's just this area, maybe. I don't get any weird vibes here either. Do you want to stop it? Yeah, I'll stop the ghost tube session now. Almost like maybe this was a little garden at the time. Somebody. Somebody. Whoa. 
Ooh. That's a big drop. Were we, we were just down there, were we? Something. Underground again. So we've just come underground again to another of the lower basement parts. Again, we're under the hospital and it's super, super scary. And it's just like everywhere is covered in this ash from the volcano eruption. And I can't believe it. Yeah. Bat. They might be those. Yeah. Actually, that sounds like those birds. Yeah, I can hear the bats going around. It's flying around us, circling us. <laughs> spotted a frog in here. He lives in the basement. It's probably a nice spot for him to live. <laughs> so one of the creepy legends about this place is says that anyone who comes inside will for the next week have really intense and really horrible horrific nightmares. So <laughs> I don't think I told that to Jared before he came in. So. No you didn't. <laughs> but we might have to just monitor what we are dreaming about each night. We'll keep you guys posted if there's any weird nightmares to follow. <laughs> So we're just getting to go up the stairs to the next level and see a bit more of the hospital. It's kind of exciting and creepy because this place is, doesn't seem heap safe to be walking around. Come for the hole up here, Ames. So we just made it up to the next level and there's this big hole in the floor. <laughs> Damn. That's scary. I don't want to fall down one of those. Okay, we'll go up another flight. This is the ward. Yeah. You're right, Yeah, so this was one of the wards for all of the patients. You can kind of see rooms where, you know, they would have been kept, and you can see the tiles on the floor from the hospital. It's so crazy to think of all the people that would have been treated here during uh, World War II and the Vietnam War, and I'm sure some of uh, the injuries in that they were treating were quite gruesome and horrific, being from war. So we're just walking through one of the wards and this is one of the areas where a lot of the disembodied voices are heard and usually they're expressing pain, so wails and cries. It's also an area where people hear babies crying, which is kind of unsettling and eerie. Um, I've also been told that People can hear kids running around in here because it was also used as a paediatric ward. Very creepy. 
Alright guys, I'm in one of the wards here, which was largely a paediatric ward, and there's been a lot of disembodied voices here, um, and former patients supposedly crying out. So I thought that I would use my spirit box and try and reach out. I'm going to be reaching out in English, even though we are in the Philippines. A lot of US soldiers were here, so I suspect if there are any spirits here, it's likely they do speak English and will understand what I'm asking. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits around that want to communicate? If there is anyone in this room with me that wants to talk, can you come forward and say hello or tell me your name? Could you tell me where you are from? How long were you here for at the hospital? Are there any children here? Are you injured? Why is it that you were brought here? Are you a soldier? Can you tell me your name? I just heard a female voice, but it was too faint to kind of make out. Can you come closer and give me a sign that you are here? What year were you brought to this hospital in? Why are you still here? Did you have children here? How many children did you have? Thank you. So we didn't really get too many responses there. There was a few very faint voices that I'll have to review in my playbacks. Um, but yeah, not a lot at all, the, especially compared to the one we did earlier tonight where it sounded like we had a lot of radio interference coming through. That one was quite different. So we'll see what we pick up in playback. So we're just out on the terrace now. This looks seriously probably from a volcano and just where this is out in the like open night sky so we can see the moon and everything it's really spooky if we look back at the hospital we're kind of standing on maybe the third floor roof I would say the terrace area it's creepy it's a great view though wow, this floor is seriously messed up guys like you, know, you can see how deep this has like corroded away and everything's just kind of breaking and bending here this one looks like a love heart <laughs> but this is crazy up here these are some big archways on top of the roof i'm guessing they provide shelter for something a bit lower Someone's little makeshift bed here in the 
steps are creepy on the floor. <laughs> There's an old caution tape in here. This thing is completely rusted out. And this just makes me even more scared to ride in elevators. You know? And these are the other shafts that must be slipped down. Don't want to know. <laughs> that is a big drop. That is all the way down. We're not even on the top floor yet. We've gone up maybe like six floors though, so there's still, a, I can see there's still a few more to go. I think these are just more of the wards. This place is absolutely massive. And now we're on top of that elevator. That's freaky as. Alright guys, so we've just made it to the very top. We're basically on the roof now. We've got all this graffiti up here. Butch, Hornet Boys, Mama, all sorts on here. And we can see a lot of our surroundings. We've got a new Marriott hotel over here and that's kind of surrounded by construction. They're building an entertainment precinct. Uh, there's also like a new McDonald's around here, a theme park lots of hotels so I'm not sure if this place is historically protected or it will be around for much longer I hope that it is protected there's a lot of history here so it's really interesting to tour this place there's like a tree growing on the roof <laughs> can you see that no yeah, there's like a whole tree just growing on the very roof of this place. It's kind of cute. <laughs> so I've just been told Lucy was a nine-year-old kid that was here. And this is uh, just graffitied over here. It's pretty sad. So there's also a, a helicopter landing pad right on top of the roof here. I'm guessing that's how they transported the soldiers here because a lot of the US soldiers from the Vietnam War were brought here for treatment when they were injured or sick. So I'm guessing that's how they got dropped in. All right, so in my part one video, if you've watched that, you might have seen me do a spirit box in morgue. I've made my way to a different one of the hospital. So we're gonna go in and see if we can reach out here too. in the morgue, or morgy as they say here, of the old Clark Air Base Hospital. Hi, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits here that want to communicate? If there is anyone here that wants to talk, can you come close and tell me your name? Thank you. Alright, I feel like we weren't really getting much through. There was maybe one voice that sounded like something there, but nothing distinguishable as a word. So we might cut this one short now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed these investigations at the old Clark Air Base 
hospital. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you want to do any more reading on this haunted place or others that I've visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also find me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember guys, until next time, stay spooky.